for Jackie Dumbson, check it out, because y'all remember when the ringtone ages were laughed at, when people be like, yo, use a ringtone rapper, you only got one single, and it's bubblegum music, people play, yes, it charted good, but you don't have that album that people fuck with. Well, even more today than ever before, we just got another sign, and this is from the RIAA, we've spoke about them before, that it's all about doing the motherfucking numbers, if people ain't copying your album in its entirety, if they're only copying one single, let's take it, whatever brings the money in, the money is already drying up in music however it comes in we'll rock with it now the riaa they announced today that effective today and it's kind of on the heels of uh rihanna being certified platinum off those like uh free downloads right now they announced that they're going to start doing something different they're kind of the latest and the last to the party really because billboard and nielsen already do this but they're finally going to acknowledge okay streaming and of course single downloads at least when thinking about certifying albums platinum now what does that mean for example an artist like fetty wap for example a artist that puts out a bunch of big singles their music that people just cop one particular song if that particular song is cop 10 times what the riaa is going to do they're going to group it together and call it an album if somebody streams one song or it could be a bunch of songs from the same album from whatever artists, okay, they're going to group 1,500 of those streams, and it could be on Tidal, Apple Music, could be on Spotify, Pandora, they're going to group that as a album sale, so that will be now incorporated in how they want to treat and actually certify gold, platinum, multi-platinum, and of course, diamond albums, all right, now, it's a big change because we see a bunch of people just went platinum. For example, Big Sean, congratulations. His Dark Sky Paradise just went platinum. We also see Wale's Ambition just went go. We see The Weeknd, Beauty Behind the Madness. It just went multi-platinum because he had a couple of big singles. And those big singles, anybody who got big singles, is going to push your album to the next level. Before, we used to differentiate like, yeah, you got popping singles, but your album is flopping. We saw with the change, and, and I mentioned it, and I highlighted it when I talked about Fetty Wap's album a couple months ago, because his album got such a boost on Billboard and Nielsen, because the streams, and of course the single downloads, were fucking ridiculous, okay? Now, here's the thing as well, because there's other people that went uh, platinum or multi-platinum, uh, Kendrick Lamar to Pimp a Butterfly, his album is now certified platinum, and of course, there's a couple other people, but you probably don't care about them. Now, it's going to affect how people really talk about music, and I think this is a change that's well overdue. We've been waiting, right? Because if we like talking numbers, I like talking numbers. I'm a numbers type of guy. And when we see artists and they put out projects, right? And we're trying to judge their fan base or the public reception of their projects. We got to look at some numbers. Album sales been going down over the last couple of years. Now we could look at streams mixed in with album sales and also single sales. So we're going to see a big push. And I'm anticipating it and predicting this, okay? We're going to see a big push by all these artists to say, oh, okay, fuck all of that. Let's get these big singles because these big singles are going to bring up the album sales. These big singles are going to bring the attention of labels. These big singles are going to get the labels to invest in you more. And only certain particular artists like a J. Cole, like a Kendrick, could probably focus on a complete body of work. We're going to see a shift again to people focusing on single type records because of this change. Because when people want to talk about platinum, and of course multi-platinum gold and shit like that you gotta have the numbers to prove it and of course now it will be reflected when you have these big singles okay so i'll read what their uh, statement is but they said for nearly six decades whether it's vinyl cds downloads or streams the gold and platinum program has adapted to recognize the benchmarks of success in an involving music marketplace we know that music listening for both album and songs is skyrocketing yet that trend has not been reflected in our album certification modernizing our album award to include music streaming is the next logical step in the continued evolution of gold and platinum awards and doing so enables RIAA to fully reward the success of artist albums today so you're going to see a lot of people going platinum 
quicker. I'm not sure how much is going to help because, of course, there's still so many other outlets that are still not official, which people still consume music. I think eventually they're going to change these benchmarks. They're going to put, like, gold to about 250,000 records. Maybe they're going to put, like, platinum to about 500,000 records. However, I think we're still a way off after this change because it's going to give a boost to the entire, like, industry when people are looking at numbers and certifications. And it's a good thing, at least for now. Again, I got Mox. Make sure you guys like. Make sure you subscribe. If you got any questions, ask in the comments. Comment section, I'll try to get to it. Wood Academics, man. Come on.